it seems like the boss of Action South Africa is tired of her mashaba. And in breaking news, only today, it looks like Herma Shaba is completely tired of working for a white guy, namely Marco Beaumont. Talking to me about this today is my pod in crime, Baron. Hello from Kubuki land. What is going on here? We interviewed uh, Herma Mashaba before about the brilliant policies that his party had. And the only real policy that he could articulate was Action SA's primary goal is to get rid of the ANC. And we did have a lot of people come back on the channel and basically say, well, that's the most powerful policy that any political party in South Africa could have. Get rid of the ANC, the problems in the country fix themselves. How Herman Mashaba's party, Action SA, was going to fix that, I really wanted some details, but they were lacking. We know that Action SA was founded by Michael Beaumont. And there's been a lot of, uh, how should we say, speculation that he's been running the coalition agreements behind closed doors. And obviously Herman Mashaba in the front region has said, well, that's not the case. I'm the one who's responsible for all of the coalition agreements. It's not Michael Beaumont. And as a result, all the, let's call them mishaps. I could think of more colorful language to use, but all the mishaps with the agreements, uh, such as getting the ANC into the Gauteng province, all of those mishaps, Herman theoretically then has to take responsibility for. And now what we've seen is that Action SA is now flirting more with with the ANC to potentially wrestle control over further municipalities in the country. Meaning that sole election promise that Action SA made to us, which is their whole reason for being, was to get rid of the ANC, they kind of screwed up, mate. Like that's their only election promise Well, I think let's focus on the news first. So Action SA Herma Shaba says he could be resigning following disagreements with senior leaders of his party, namely Michael Beaumont, the white guy who runs the party, uh, because Michael Beaumont and others are talking to the ANC behind Herma Mashaba's back. And Byron, you made an error. Herma Shaba is the money. Michael Beaumont is the brains. And in politics, the brains tends to overshadow the money in this instance. And what is evident from this particular article is Action SA is having some financial constraints. And why do you think that is, my friend? Because once we remember long time ago, when Action SA declared all the donations to them, who funded them? It was the Oppenheimers, and it was a few other people who happened to also donate to the DEA. So you could see a two-pronged approach where the same funders fund both parties to work together in a coalition. Now with all the bullshit around Joburg and Michael Beaumont betraying the DA, it looks like the funding has dried up. And now Herman is left with a huge bill that maybe he is unable to pay. Yeah, I mean, it's unsurprising, isn't it? I mean, as we said, the sole reason, according to Action SA, for their existence is to get the ANC out of power. And it's not doing that. It's actually getting the ANC back into power in many municipalities that managed to shed themselves to the ANC. So somebody's got to kind of take the fall for that. And the reality of the situation is that the funders, the people who are funding the party, are clearly now going to see them going back to the ANC and going, well, it's money, it's not really well spent, is it? It's just the whole purpose of this was to tackle the ANC, not join them. I mean, if they wanted to do that, they'd just fund the EFF, I suppose. Yeah, and interesting. So- the article, just quickly, sorry about that. The article does say that the Herman Mashaba's wife is not very happy. So if you know them a little bit, I don't know them personally, but from what I understand, he is deeply attached to his wife and his wife isn't particularly happy with Herman going to politics. She wants him to retire. They want to go live in Florida or Barbados or wherever the case might be. Instead, he's stuck here paying the boss a, a huge salary to fuck up coalition agreements all over the place. So I assume Herman Shaba's wife is also had it up to here with uh, the whiteness that is screwing up Action SA. And without her Mashaba, Action SA doesn't really exist. Let's be really honest here. Uh, the funny part is that we obviously spoke to Herman and he said the only reason he was sticking around was to try to change South Africa for the better. So rationally, if you can't change South Africa for the better because your party that you set up as a direct opposition to the ANC is now joining the ANC, you really messed up, in which case, why are you in politics? You, you kind of like, you tried to fight the good fight, you failed, give it a rest, let's just go retire. 
something that you and I talk about with Cyril. I mean, Cyril tried to be the reformer, or whatever you might want to consider it. He screwed up. He messed up the country. He's got billions, mate. Like, why he doesn't just have a new babe on his arm every day and sipping on cocktails on, in the Mediterranean somewhere, I don't know. With that being said, Herman has denied these allegations. He's gone onto Twitter today and he's basically said, no, it wasn't me. This is misinformation and he's reporting them to the press ombudsman for misinformation. He says, Herman will not leave his party, Action SA. But before we continue, here is a small word for our sponsor from today's video, EDB Firearms. Now you just have to answer one question. Do you like guns? Do you like a bit of recoil therapy? If so, why not go to EDB Firearms in the Heart of Port area? They have a thousand meter long shooting range, one of the longest ranges in this country as well as having indoor ranges, of course. But not only do they have fantastic ranges, they can help you with every single aspect of owning a firearm, from getting your competency, to obtaining a license, to buying the gun itself, and of course, every single accessory you need to make sure that you are well and fully armed in South Africa. And even if your license is pending, you can still use, test, and shoot your gun at their premises while you're waiting for your license to arrive. They host regular family-friendly shooting events. They are open seven days a week. And if you're a Morning Shop subscriber, you get 5% off absolutely everything in store from range fees to weapons to anything. All you have to do is visit, call or email them and say Morning Shot for that 5% to apply. So don't wait, pull the trigger and check them out today, linked below. And generally, I would agree that, you know, the mainstream media is a bunch of fake news and especially IOL from where this uh, article comes from. But, my friends, in our possession, we have a voice recording of Herma Shaba. Try to pick up the themes that we have picked up. And let me also really stress this to you, that in the event of the, the, the outcome of this process, which is going to be democratic and we are, because we know we've got experience of running a team uh, uh, transparent process. In the event, actioners can say to us that we must negotiate with A with A and C. Let me tell you, I, Herman Mashaba, will step aside and let um, Action S A um, operate without me. And what you notice right at the end of that recording was, if Action S A democratically chooses to work with the A and C, I am going to resign. So the article is not wrong at all. Well, he said step Just, aside, didn't he? Same. So what does step aside mean? Oh, same thing. He thinks it's the ANC. You see, he's so far embedded with the ANC. He's already using their own jargon. He's using their language. <laughs> <laughs> this, this makes me question, has Herman Mashaba been involved in some kind of criminal activity from which he needs to step aside? Well, as far as I know, you know the whole notion that he made billions of rands from a pharmaceutical company? Apparently that is a bit wrong. A BE tender, a certain BE tender was a lot more lucrative. But that's just hearsay. Those are allegations. Don't That's sue us, news, Herman. We, we, and, we don't spread fake news. No, we don't. And by the way, you can sue us, but you've got no money to sue us. So, oh, well, we'll just leave it in the video. So, but really, Byron, let's be serious for a moment. This is basically the outcome of being a dick in politics. Like, I'm just sorry to say. You, you, you start a party, which is fine. You hire Michael Beaumont, who hates John Stenazen because John stole his wife all those years ago. Michael Beaumont is the boss of the party. You hire all the rejects of the DA, who have nothing to show for the... And the ANC. Don't forget, he, he hired some ANC councillors, which were rejects in their own party. That's fair. So you hire all sorts of rejects, right? Once you once those rejects get into the party, they change their mind about absolutely everything. They were with the DA, they were non-racist, and so now they were actually saying now they're racist. And then at the end of the day, the coalition <laughs> and the agreement. NC ones were racist, and now they're non-racist. That's true. And the EFF ones were communist, and now they're like free free market capitalists. <laughs> Action SA. Action it's SA, amazing. baby. It's amazing. But fundamentally, at the end of the day, this is what happens. We don't have fucking foundational principles. This is just, the things we've been banging on for the longest period of time for Action SA is that there's nothing there other than the grift that is holding these people together. Those people get paid an insane amount of money, millions of rands a year, to be the chairperson of here and the fucking manager of this and the whatever, chairperson of this. They get paid lots of money. Herman Mashaba has to stump it up because he fucked up the coalition. And now, here you go. Actually, say might not exist for much longer because he will resign. And there's no one there with tenacity, uh, publicity, or, you know, even media image as much as Herman Mashaba. It is completely dead without him. 
Remember when we called this and we said Action S has a dead duck and you probably shouldn't vote for it. And we got loads of slack with people going, oh, you DA supporters. You know what the Karens are like. They all like to come out and go, you white racist. You just don't want the black man to succeed. And we were like, look, a political party without any beliefs, it's just not going to go anywhere. It's just going to be open to the highest bidder. And it's just going to go wherever the money tree grows. And what's happened in the, the municipalities now, they're going where the gravy train is. So I'd like to say that we got called correct on that. But, you know, I'm going to remind you that one of the things I said, even during that whole interview with Herb Mashaba, is I really wanted to like the guy, man. I really did. I actually really wanted this party to succeed. I wanted it to make a good dent into ANC territory, and I wanted it to be part of the coalition for 2024. But this is where we can sound like DA shills, but we're not. Do you remember when Helen said, a vote for a small party is a vote for the ANC? And everybody was like, oh, you just don't want poor small parties to get success. Yep. Well, as much as I hate to say it, Helen was right, mate. A vote for a small party is a vote for the ANC. And Action SA has proved it. Absolutely. And Helen would know. She was the first one to hold a proper coalition in Cape Town in 2006. An eight-party coalition, which is very hard. They can't even do an eight-party coalition in Joburg in 2022. So, you know, once again, Helen's at a completely underrated by her enemies and completely right on practically absolutely everything. Uh, so we are no longer Putin fanboys. Now we are toy boys for Helen Zilla. Thank you, Byron. That's all right. Helen, you know where we are.